All right, today we got One Piece, episodes 229 to 232. We are starting Water 7. I am very excited. Remember, if you guys want the early access or the uncut versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Please leave a like and a comment on this video. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Uh, One Piece, 229 to 232. Let's do it. All right, so we were chasing that frog to the lighthouse, and then a train came up out of nowhere. They were... So, panic is all ensuing. Which I want to know, is there a track it's running on? Or is it just pure water? Or is it a devil fruit? How does this thing work? An ocean train. I guess they would have never seen a train? A steampunky? Like, what? Is that too industrial? Or it hits him. I thought the frog was catching a ride. We got smacked. And just like that, that ship was puffing out smoke. See, I need to know the logistics and the details behind this train. Is there a railroad? Is it run on coal? Is it going to water seven? Chimney? What is she gonna call the Marines? Is grandma drunk or is she just a little confused? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just so you guys know, I'm taking notes on a whiteboard now. So if you see me with like a dry erase marker, that's why. Gonbe. That's a cute cat. Sea train called the Puffing Tom. What is she munching on? Water 7, I see it on the train. I don't know how I didn't notice that earlier. Talk about a handy mode of transportation. Wait, you carry ships? They can bring the going merry there? Yokozuna. The crawl frog. So he's just a one piece goober. <laughs> yeah. You see, I'm gonna start calling people like like Yokozuna one piece goobers because he, he, he's hilarious. He's like, she's like, what do you mean? He fucks up our shifts. Ooh, I want to go to all these towns. Carnival San Faldo. I need to write all this down. I will. Her design looks like it should be a nightmare before Christmas. There's a special train for the government? Is that where they were going? The lore, man. The world building. Oh, I don't think Aokiji. I've heard a lot of good things about this arc, Water 7. I have no idea anything about it. Really? So it's an advanced city. Oh, oh, we need, oh, we're getting another straw hat. We're getting a straw hat. Well, thank you, drunk grandma. Iceberg. Okay. Reference in a small map. Don't give that to Luffy. He'll lose it. Hopefully I see you guys there. I can see the family resemblance now that I'm seeing them from that angle, you know. What's your favorite bar? I was just hoping for a, a random water-themed name for, you know. We gotta be there for about a week, okay. Bro, I'm still not used to the full screen HD 1080. I'm loving it so much. It's so interesting. These are our commercial cuts now. I'm so used to the other ones, man. I'm going to miss seeing them pop up on screen. Oh, man. Even though these are cool. I really like these. <laughs> They're so funny. I love, they've, they've done this multiple times since Skypea where they show Robin just appreciating the squad and the crew that she's joined. She's the most recent joinee of them, but 
I am loving her relationship to the crew so far, and I can't wait for it to develop. I've been told Robin has a fantastic part in this show, so. I can't wait to see the Going Merry like new. Oh my god. That's a valid point. Gold, they have a lot of it. Lots of money. No, do not do that. We're already at Water 7. You can see the island, but it looks like a big-ass city, and I love that. I'm trying to think of what uh, vibes it gives me. So far, it gives me, like, uh, what was it, Kira? No, what am I... This, this, the capital of Black Clover? Let me see. Let me get an angle. Oh, my goodness. Look at those docks. Entry. Okay. Now it's giving me, like, Water Tribe vibes from uh, Avatar when they came in. We're just amazed by the spectacularness of the water and the environment this looks incredible they're even traveling through the city on the water which gives me like italy going through the canals vibes also avatar last airbender going through the canals vibes i love it the cafes the diners the souvenirs come on that's so cool like, I need to go back in time and know what Oda was thinking when he was coming up with ideas like this, you know? I know, right? Thank you, kind old man. Appreciate it. So we're officially parked. And we need a shipwright more than ever. Oh my god. I know they said it has patchwork, but oh my god. I like it. Let's be efficient about this. Look at Nami being smart about this. And Luffy and Usopp just want to go explore. Aww. Aww. I would like to go book shopping with Chopper. I get manga, he can get whatever books he needs for studying and medicinal purposes. So cute. Rental bull shop. Bulls? Bulldogs? Bullshit? Yagara, Rabuka, and King. Two Yagaras, probably. Yeah, I don't think he means eating, Luffy. Oh, these are bulls? Yeah. Yeah, canals. I was just saying that. How it reminds me of, like, Italy, you know? Look at these bowls. This is crazy. Okay. It makes sense. Like seahorse riding. That, you know. Their bug eyes are freaking me out a little bit. But other than that, they're kind of cute. I like them. Um, bricks. That's like that. Wow, Luffy, what are you doing? That guy could be a seven warlord of the sea. Buddy, you just said 2,000. Okay. I was a little worried about this guy sort of selling us out because he realized how much money we have, but gave us a map, sent us on our way. We're going to go get our money, go get the Going Merry report repaired, and go get a ship right. I am all down for all that. I would have at least given him a tip, you know? Maybe 3,000 berries, you know? Damn. That episode went by so fast, I feel.
Oh my lord. All right, on to the next episode. This should be episode 230. We're traveling through Water 7. We're here. It's looking beautiful. Now we got some kids playing some ball. I like how even with the canals, they have to hang their clothes up like super high. They do it across the stretchways, you know, like it's so cool. Yeah. Again, it gives me huge Renaissance Italy vibes, you know. I love how Luffy calls any older guy Pops. Now I feel like we're at the top of bossing say about to go down the super slide. That would be so cool. Oh my god, and they catch some major air. They get yeeted. I would be like Usopp and Nami right now. But if I was as strong as Luffy, I'd be like Luffy. Low key, they might have landed perfectly in the shopping district. I don't know though. Yup. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They wanted to go there anyway but they might have just taken a, a fun route to get there no we're definitely in the shopping district i feel like i'm playing pokemon when you hit the fucking uh convenience tower you know everything's on sale for there heck yeah and had a little fun and you punched him that's a bull is that one of the king ones Ooh. I wonder if they're like nobility, royalty, just rich, a part of a cult. I need to know the, the reason. This guy looks like a vampire samurai. He looks like a half orc from uh, Baldur's Gate. So you're going to wait till after they fix your ship to say that? Or what? Buddy, you think you're the first pirate to not try to pay his fee? You're about to get your ass whooped by some shipwrights. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Who are these two people? You got the crowd moving like this. Khalifa? Iceberg? Okay. Is that 36 million? It says 360 right there, like 360,000, but I assume there's got to be some missing. Either you're going to wait till after. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if that's sexual harassment. Oh, it, it's sexual harassment now. Okay. Hey, you guys, make sure you check out that Patreon. Pay for it. Otherwise, you're sexually harassing me. <laughs> I'm just joking, obviously. <laughs> One log to the back of the head, and he's out. And it wasn't even Khalifa or Iceberg. It was literally a shipwright. Luffy wasn't saying when he was saying these guys are five meters. These guys are supposed to be... These guys fix and repair ships. These guys are brawling. What are you thinking? Like, I could have told you guys this. It's like how Sanji says, you never piss off the cook, you know? He gives you food. You never piss off the big-ass brawlic shipmaker. Did you test out the canyon yet? Well, that was a perfect test for it. It works. Jesus, look at these guys. Oh my god, they're brawlic. Everyone is out going shopping while Zoro is sleeping on the ship. That could lead to something bad happening while Zoro is asleep, but we shall see. I'm curious. All 
All right, we're entering the second level, downtown Water 7. I would love to come here. And world's number one shipyard. That fountain is incredible. I love how they give it this like glistening look in the anime because of how much water is splat the mist. It's literally mist with the sun, you know, that's what it would look like. Yeah, what is with that crowd? Are they gathered up just to see that fight that just happened between the shipwrights? Or it looks like they're <laughs> Yeah, yep, okay. Luchi. Luffy's fucking uncle. Ollie? Lulu. Damn it, I can't get all these names. Islestone. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Powerful and skilled. The pride of Water 7. They're known for their shipwrights. They're very greatly admired by the people. I love that. I love that saw that they use for obviously for wood, but they use it as a sword too. Oh my god. I am very curious about Nami's observation on these masks though. Like what's going on with them? What's going on with the residents of this town? What's up with Robin's new outfit? Oh my god, is it amazing? Slay girl. I know you guys are just talking to talk, but hey, Robin, woo! I thought those were weird faces earlier, but they most definitely are masks. And I need to know why. So they're having a carnival on San Faldo. <laughs> I love Chopper's just never ending thirst for knowledge. Ooh. See, it's interactions like these that make me nervous but also very curious. I have heard that before. CP9. Why why did that person say that? CP9. See that sweat on Robin's forehead? What's going on? CP9. If I have heard that before and I'm blanking, can you guys let me know? If we haven't heard it yet and it's the first time, then obviously we're cool. But I just want to make sure I'm not being an idiot. Yeah, what was with that? That was eerie. As the mist clears, right? Like, what the hell was going on? Did Robin not end up going in with him? I thought she was going to be freaked out about what? About what he said but then go in with chopper did she vanish like what's going on did she go with him i was nervous about somebody making a move on the ship while zor not a hundred somebodies now this reminds me of baroque works when zoro had to put in work on a hundred people let's try to get the jump on him when he's sleeping Okay, we're getting we're getting into some juicy shit already. Hell yeah. All right, so we're about to start episode 231. If I or the setup looks a little different at all, I took a little lunch break in between the last episode and this one. But in doing so, I reorganized my setup a little bit. I want to try standing reaction, standing video, standing editing. It might just help with posture and a little bit of energy, stuff like that. So I'm just trying it out. We'll see how it goes. So if it looks a little different or a little wonky, please bear with me and let me know if any technical issues arise. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we should start exactly where we left off. Uh, Zoro getting jumped by <laughs> while he was sleeping by all these guys. Curious to find out what happens. This is episode 231. Let's do it. All right, this should be right where we left off. I still can't get over the 16 by 9. Looks so crisp. Bounty hunters, just the Frankie family. They look so obviously they're here for some cheddar some berries so they want the entire bounty of the straw hats i am very curious the frankie family i've heard i've heard the name frankie before in one piece for sure <laughs> look how easy it is for him to stop them though 
Like you guys are You guys are brazen going after a 60 Rhino cycle. You guys are brazen going after a 60 million bounty. I respect it, but hey, y'all got humbled. So this is the Frankie family. A family full of bounty hunters. We finally made it with Nami to the gold cashin area. He looks like a member of the Frankie family who's spying on us, getting info on us. He's just gonna put a bag of gold. They didn't, what's his name say? They might not even have, have enough gold or enough money. Take them to the VIP room. Imagine you have a client come into your bank. You're just a teller. They come in with like a billion dollars. They're verifying the authenticity of the gold. It's real. That's not like that cheap shit. That's like some ancient ruin. You find that historical gold. Actually, I would like to know. I'm curious. A hundred mil. I don't know. Nami being quiet gets me a little suspect. It might be worth even more than a hundred million. Don't sign. Good. Good. She is the navigator and the negotiator. <laughs> I was like 100 million. That sounds nice. I might have to three times that. 300. This, I won't lie. One Piece seemed like one of those shows where even though our heroes are doing things worth this amount of money, I never expected us to actually have a lot of money. I always expected us to be broke. So this is kind of cool. We got money. Yeah, makes sense. That's why we have you on the team, Nami. You are indispensable, literally. Not only do they have the 240 million bounty on the entirety of the straw hats, but 300 mil on them in liquid cash. That door reminds me of a Killua's family door from Hunter x Hunter. Like the 20 ton door you have to push through, you know? So we're back where the galley law. Fucking shipwrights are beating those pirates' ass. They do need to find Iceberg, who should be with Khalifa. This is one of the guys from the pirate in incursion. Let's talk outside for now. Don't come in. I love the galley on his hat, his fucking Usopp like nose. Most certainly do. <laughs> He's a square Usopp. Granny Kokoro. I didn't know her name was Kokoro. 23. Younger than me. Oh, he's the mayor. That's not what I was expecting at all. We're going to be dealing directly with the mayor. I want to see how they pronounce it. Manages the sea train, mayor, and the director of the galley law. Whoa. Why is he stretching like that? He makes it seem like he's going to run there very fast, the way he's looking. I don't think so. I don't think so. Sir, do you know how long it took us to get here from the, the place we docked at? Man's is the Flash. Now, I wonder if there's any devil fruit in that at all, or if he's just purity, he's just goaded like that. Look! Man's is soaring!
I love that shot with the wind on his clothes. I can feel the wind on my body right now. I got goosebumps. I love that shot. Is that not Iceberg? Mountain Wind. Foreman. I need to get his name. Kaku. Now we're over to Sanji, just exploring around. He was going to go grocery shopping, right? Clean streets and lively crowds. Many pretty women. Sounds like an area for me. Yeah, being like a canal city, the dead ends, the alleys, it must be pretty, pretty bad. Is that not Robin with this fucking CP9, dude? Is that why Robin disappeared on Chopper? She's gonna be gone, isn't she? Yeah. Oh! At another dead end? Now that's... You know what I'm saying? That's a little... Oh, there goes Kaku. <laughs> right? Sandy's like, am I the crazy one? We got people flying, people disappearing. They call him Mountain Wind, and he's able to do that. I am flabbergasted, but he's going to be the first one to see Zoro get jumped. Oh, no. I, I'm already forgetting Zoro already handled those guys within a fucking second. Rhino style two sword. I'm over here being nervous for no reason. I'm so butthurt, everyone. Oh, it's Usopp. What's up, buddy? He's like, wait, that's not Usopp. This is Iceberg and Khalifa. We, we were going to work our way to come meet you, sir, but I'm glad we found you right here. There we go. I'm glad. Oh, cute. What is his name? A very interesting name for a hamster, rat, and a little mouse. So no wonder Iceberg's able to do as much work as he can. He has an amazing assistant with him. Look at him. She has her schedule, or he has her schedule. She has his schedule all down. Yeah. Okay. That's one thing Khalifa will not stand for. You cannot make fun of the mayor. I need her as an assistant. Yeah, she's all about the respect, you know. Mmm, Khalifa. Mmm, I might be next in line, I can't lie. <laughs> oh, she just kicks everything in a certain range. We got money. We can just be normal customers. All right. Thank you, sir. I like him. I can't lie. I like him so far. He's funny to me. How does 300 million berries and three big suitcases just disappear? It's got to be the Frankie fam, right? Oh, yeah. On some Team Rocket shit. Nah, with how Zoro up their ass, if I'm Luffy, I'm doing some gum. I was the end of the episode. That was fast. I'm doing some shenanigans. I'm not letting them do that. There's no way. There's no shot. All right. Starting the last episode of the session, 232. Ollie. He's one of the galley law shipwrights, right? Oh. 
See, anytime I see something like that, I don't know if they're just really skilled and good or if it's a devil fruit power. The double yank off the Yagaras into each other with the rope. That was crazy. And a right back. See, like that's a very skillful person right there. So like, hey, thanks for taking that from the criminals. He's like, wait, money? Usopp. You not realize this guy was just running from debt collector? <laughs> collect. He's not turning around. He's going faster. The son of a bitch. True. So shout out Luchi. I don't know if Luchi is the guy or the pigeon, but shout out to them for bringing Polly uh, back. What's going on with the Frankie family? Yes. <laughs> please give us details about them, please. Ah, they're ship demolitionists. They're a public nuisance. I can see that. I am the bounty. Take the ship, sell it. Not even your bones? They are the underlings. Now, I've heard the name Frankie in One Piece for sure. The pigeon talking is so funny. It's kind of like old pirates that used to have like a bird on their shoulder, you know? Yeah, 20 million is a lot, my boy. You don't realize the amount of work in Skype yeah, we had to go through to get this. And it's a gambling debt. Okay, with the rope punishment flinging him across. Luchi doesn't look bothered at all. Pull in line fishing. Like reeled him out essentially. Cast he casted Luchi as a line. Oh. Wow. I was not expecting that. He is insanely strong. That's what I'm saying. I'm Rob L. Hattori. Rob Lucci. He's about to say, I'm Rob Lucci. Right? I'm curious. You know how strong they are? Mm. So Kaku, Polly, and Rob Lucci are all three of the five foremen? They're very strong. Doc 1, the main force of the Gali La. The Gali La, I don't know. My pronunciations are awful. I apologize, guys. Oh, they're repairing ships here. They're. Oh. This is a. I love the music that's playing. This is a work yard right here. Work is being done. Anyone that has this level of respect amongst his men gets my respect up front. I, I like it. Especially one as busy as him, you know. 
Wow! Shout out, my man Iceberg. I like him so far. Real respect, real is literally what she's saying. I was about to say, he's got too much going on. Physically, he cannot. <laughs> what info do you have about her? I'm very curious. Oh, he knows something. He knows something. Maybe it has something to do with Aokiji, the Marines, or maybe it has something to do with CP9. What's going on there? Come on, Iceberg. What's going on in your mind, bub? I want to know. I got to know. Do you have 300 million berries? And of course, Nami and uh, Luffy aren't looking for the one second because we just got in here. And like, oh, I hate the way they did that. It's like he got literally kidnapped. Chopper's still alone. Just run. Oh, he's alone. I always feel bad, man. Someone's always got to be with Chopper. Great sense of smell, though. Sanji is still sitting there curious as to how the hell she got away. She's like, he's, he's like, she's gone. I mean, they've said it. They made it a point that these guys are insanely skilled. These guys are the best of the best. But I still would not be surprised if Kaku, Polly, and Rob Lucci had devil fruit. You know, I don't know. Yeah. What did Kaku say to Zoro earlier? That's something I respect about these guys. A lot of people in jobs like these would lie to people. What did he say, though? I need to know what he said, man. They're just empty. Probably gonna beat 200, 300 million berries. Kaku's gonna be something important. That's why he's waiting to say it. They're not gonna have as much money as they think just because of the amount of damage or something on it. Like, like, what do you mean too deep? Like, it's like when you take your car in, they say we gotta total it? Or. So are we saying we need a whole new ship? Going Mary too? I like the Going Mary a lot. I even have it on my thing over there. You can see the Going Mary right here. Give it to me in layman's terms, please. Less than 50? Oh, hell nah. Hell nah. It, it's sad to say, and I love the way Zoro is literally talking to the ship as if he's a member of the crew, because when you think about it, he's as important to us as anyone on this crew is, you know? Amazing ass shot. Man, bro, I need four more episodes right now. Oh, Lordy McLorderton. All right, those were some fantastic episodes. We are officially starting Water 7. I am very excited. I loving the changes the different feel of this arc i don't know quite yet the tone of this arc like i said i love how one piece arcs change so dramatically whether it's a whether it's like a political drama crime drama like in alabasta or whether it's um a fantasy uh native americans versus english style like skypea like one you guys know i love the real world historical aspects that Oda throws in but I love the differences in tone and genres of each arc so because we just started Water 7 I really don't know what tone or genre this is going to be yet but I'm liking it a lot so far you don't really have like obviously the galley the the galley law and and iceberg and the rest of them are our allies but I really don't know what's going on yet I don't know the overall key points we're trying to hit I don't know what I'm trying to say like for Skypea. It was just discovering the mystery of Skypea. What? I wonder. 
because that, that's really what it all was right the, the mystery and helping cricket mon blanc yes but i need to know what our main goal obviously our main goal right now find a ship right get the mary fixed but let's say things went smoothly with that would we just leave like we got to find a ship right to join them. i'm so curious where that's going to happen how the frankie family is going to be involved the galley law um i'm trying to you know use my notes now that i'm taking more notes i really enjoyed kaku Polly's interesting rob lucci i'm cocorola granny i'm very curious i'm most curious about though cp9 and robin that's what i'm the most curious about like iceberg wanted to say something with robin didn't i'm curious I'm curious this is gonna have me thinking all night there's no shot um hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes if you did please let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments down below please leave a like check out that patreon for early access full length this out in the third i appreciate y'all immensely have a great day dapper squad peace out